Hi everyone, Joe Garth here, creator of Brushify.io. Today I'd like to introduce you to the Brushify Beach Pack. This is a set of photorealistic 3D assets and a full 3D environment created for Unreal Engine 5. In this demonstration video, I'll be showing this environment alongside some of Unreal Engine's most cutting edge next generation plugins and how UE5's groundbreaking technology help to make all this possible at playable frame rates. This demonstration is running above 60 frames per second on a single 1080 Ti. The ocean in this scene is utilizing a real-time fluid physics simulation. This means that the water flows around objects like these small rocks. We can even see how little rock pools are formed as the tide slowly comes in. As this uses real physics, the pools fill up realistically as the water accumulates. This is all possible due to a plugin called Fluid Flux, which is available to developers on the Unreal Engine marketplace. Just a few years ago, water physics like this were completely unimaginable. But now, it's not only running in real time, but also alongside all of Unreal Engine 5's next generation features. As usual, I'm using Unreal Engine 5's Lumen Global Illumination System to dynamically light the world. This means I can change every aspect of the scene without baking any lighting. Another crucial UE5 feature that makes all this possible is Nanite. All of the Brushify geometry here is Nanite enabled. This means that I can place an almost unlimited amount of rocks and pebbles, which adds a lot to the realism and the level of detail. It was really mind-blowing for me as an artist when I realized I can pretty much go crazy just painting down geometry and it has basically no effect on the performance. Another plugin that I'm using here which works really well with Brushify is Ultra Dynamic Sky. This creates realistic lighting out of the box. It has a fully adjustable 24-7 time of day and volumetric clouds that don't really hurt performance. With Brushify's out-of-the-box approach to assets and shaders, and the combination of these powerful plugins, convincing scenes like this can be assembled in a matter of hours, rather than weeks of work. That's because with Brushify, most of the hard work in the asset creation and the shader programming has already been done for you. Everything is set up and ready to go out of the box. Hi everyone, Joe Garth here, creator of Brushify.io. In this next part, I wanted to show you guys the creation process behind some of the Brushify Beach Pack assets and just show you really what goes into building one of these packs. The first thing I do is go out on location and capture lots of real world data. I went out to Whitby and Scarborough, which are towns that are on the east coast of the UK. And luckily for me, it's just a three hour train ride to those locations. Once I get to the beach, pretty much everything hinges on the weather. Cloudy and overcast weather is perfect for scanning, but if there's any sun or rain, I pretty much just have to wait for them to go away. I use a technique called photogrammetry to 3D scan objects like rocks and driftwood. This is a really time consuming process as it involves taking literally hundreds of photos of every object that I want to develop into an asset. I usually try to do this in less populated areas, but sometimes people and dogs do happen to get in the way. For much larger cliffs and embankments, I use a drone, as these would be impossible to capture on foot. Capturing the real world and going to these locations is the best way to guarantee a sense of realism. I also feel really lucky to be able to get out of the house and travel to these beautiful places. At the end of the day, it's always been the beauty of nature and the natural world that's inspired me to be an artist. Once all the photos are collected, I take this data into photogrammetry software called Metashape, and I use that to create 3D models and generate textures. These are then cleaned, organized, and imported into the Unreal Engine, where they're set up to use Brushify's already optimized and feature-rich shaders. The shaders are super artistically flexible, and contain all the features needed for the assets to look good and perform well. This means that you as a customer can simply grab the pack from Unreal Marketplace and immediately start using the assets to build games, cinematics, or any other projects that require realistic real-time scenes. 
Another nice feature of most Brushify products is procedural generation. I include presets for the procedural object spawners. This means you don't need to place every rock or driftwood by hand, you can simply drag a volume and hit simulate. All of the settings are dialed in to look good out of the box. And if you do need to tweak those parameters, it can be done so in the foliage type files. All of the Brushify assets have shaders which allow for object blending. This means that objects can be blended convincingly into the landscape. Because I'm using runtime virtual texturing, I can actually project the landscape texture onto all of these small ground objects. And this gives a really convincing blending effect, removing any harsh edges. In the end, all of these features and plugins combine to create extremely realistic scenes. I'm usually really impressed by how seamlessly all of this stuff works together, and there isn't really much need for customization or the sort of tinkering that was required in the past just to get things working. I think that's pretty much everything from my side. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration video, and uh, I hope it encourages you to start building your own environments in Unreal Engine 5. Building this beach pack has been a huge amount of fun. You know, flying the drone, going to these uh, really nice beach locations, uh, it's just been absolutely incredible um, and you know definitely going to be doing more of these large scale um, photogrammetry projects in the future uh, fortunately as well british weather even though it's summer it's still incredibly cloudy most of the time so i'll have plenty of opportunities to scan as usual if you like this sort of content don't forget to like the video by clicking the like button below uh, you can also hit subscribe and click the little bell notification icon so you'll get updates on any future videos that i post from now on all right thanks everyone for watching and take care cheers guys